Hi guys! Okay, we haven't done a cooking segment in a really long time. So we decided to do it today with uh, leftovers from our turkey day. I hope everyone had a really nice Thanksgiving. We're doing something that Marissa's dad came up with and I thought it was really genius. Shout out to Glenn. Let's go. Um, so it's called a, what do we call this? Like a leftover casserole? Yeah. And by the way, I'm gonna tell you, I don't remember how we did it last time. So I'm kind of flying off the seat of my pants, but we'll do it together. And then I thought, I asked Matt, I said, should I present this in a very nice way? And he's like, no, it's okay. Because this is how we store our leftovers in a Ziploc bag because we have no room in our refrigerator because we still have too much food. Okay, so, and I did not want to, we washed so many dishes. I'm like, I'm not washing any dishes. So we had some of these leftover aluminum pans. And so, by the way, I was just thinking, if someone would come up with this product, I'll buy it. And I came up with this product, but I don't have the energy to make it. So we, ha we present our food in these aluminum cans because there's so much food over Thanksgiving. Is there a product out there that puts like a really pretty border that's like a paper thing that fits over it? So then when you present it all out, it looks really pretty, but it's still in the aluminum pan. And then you could recycle everything together afterwards. I think it'd be really cool with like cool patterns or colors. So like a pan liner. For yeah, the but like for the paper, outside. so then you right. can't see it, and it's really like presentable. And then you and get nice. different designs according to yeah. the season or whatever. Yeah, it'd be so cool. And it's not some permanent vessel. It's like a no, and you yeah. can recycle the whole thing. So, anyways, if someone already knows about it or has one or has seen it, please tell me. It'd be really nice. Okay, so according to Marissa, I asked her yesterday. Let's start with the mashed potatoes. So we have this much mashed potatoes left over. I, I have to admit, we did dump a lot of mashed potatoes because it was just way too much food. So, all right, Ziploc pan. Start with the mashed potatoes. So imagine this as like a, just a, like a really yummy lasagna, I guess, right, Matt? Mm hmm Okay. So you're doing your layers. I'm doing my layers, but I think I don't know if I have enough mashed potatoes, but you know, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this, these little gaps in. I shouldn't have dumped all that mashed potato, but whatever. Okay, I just couldn't look at all that food. It was just a we, a, we haven't had, well last year for the last, was it two Thanksgivings, right? Mm -hmm. We haven't had like a huge amount of people, right? Cause it's been COVID. So this is our first really fun Thanksgiving with everybody. So I think we kind of, and then I wasn't sure with the teenagers, how much they would eat. Let's just say we bought way too much food. It was like so much food, We just right? wanted to make sure we didn't run out because that'd be the worst. It was just so much food though. All right, so I'm gonna do this. And I think I'm going to also, so what I did was mashed potatoes, some gravy, and I'm gonna, we had so much cheese too. I don't know why, just a lot of cheese. Oh, because we were doing pizzas, remember the night before? Yeah. So I'm gonna do a little bit of, um, it's just a quattro formaggio cheese. So it's kind of like just, it's a nice little glue. Now, turkey. We did a really cool turkey, which is a roti roti, which is, I guess, a local thing. And they do sous vide meats. So there was a sous vide turkey, and it's like a roll. And it's really nicely, um, really nicely uh, with a lot of flavors. So, so you didn't again, eat any of the meat. No, I did not. I had a tofurkey, which was I have to say, I'm sorry, Turfurky. It kind of was really gross. It tasted, I told Matt, like- Although a, we were inspired by your business story. Yes, yes, I love the business story. Yes, shout out to you. But I just have to say, it, it really kind of tasted like a rubber ball. It first came in the shape of a ball, like a, literally like a little tiny basketball. And I was like, ugh. And then I even marinated it with a lot of flavor. Uh, let's just say it wasn't, I, I didn't really care for it. But Ella, who is my niece, who is 14 years old, 13, 14, um, is also vegetarian, vegan, and she loved it. So she thought it was delicious. Okay, so here's the turkey. We have a whole nother lump of turkey. Matt, should we put it in here or should we just leave it? Because I have another whole lump. Yeah, you can put a little bit more for sure. Make okay. the layer. All right, so I'm gonna get the other lump. Hold on. This is another 
we got enough for like a million people. So this is a whole nother lump of turkey. Um, you don't need to use the whole lump. I know. And I'm not sure if it's, I could shred it it's Just your gaps. Live, but this is kind of gross. Sorry guys. I didn't prepare this because Matt cut the other ones. Um, so this is just a lump of turkey. And it comes in a roll. It's actually delicious. It's sous vide, so it's really soft. And just, what would you say, Matt? Would you say just like perfect slices of meat? Yeah, Without and, all the and bones. not dry. And then they have really good seasoning between the layers. It's almost like you know when they, you take that sponge cake and it's got whipped cream, and then you um, roll it into a roll. And it's perfect, right? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, what do they call it? A jelly roll, or yes, and, and also just perfect on the plate. When yeah, and then it. there's no waste because there's no bones. I mean, you know, bones aren't waste. You can make soup, but it, you're just done when you're done. You can yes. just eat all of it. Okay, so I think this is enough turkey. And then, ooh, my hands are yucky now. A little greasy, but all right. I'm going to just, you know, I have all this gravy left over. So just gonna, is that turkey gravy? Yeah. So I'm just going to put it in here. It doesn't hurt, right? Nope. It'll be nice and moist. It'll be delicious. It'll um, boil. It'll be good flavor. Should I put some more cheese in here or not really, right? Not too much cheese. Maybe on the, well, top. Put it on the top. Yeah. And maybe like with a little bit of panko. That'll be good. Okay, now I'm gonna do um, a layer of, I'm gonna just put in some of this. This is our Brussels sprouts. Just a little Brussels sprouts, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the final layer. So this is a really good creative way to utilize your um, leftovers without I mean, we make the sandwiches and all that jazz, but I find that this is like a great meal. But you can even, we've made sandwiches after you cook this casserole, then you just, you can scoop it out onto a sandwich bread and have a good sandwich. really true. Yep. So this is our Uncle Mario's famous stuffing. And Matt made a vegan version of it with impossible burger meat. So now I'm just putting, should I just use all this stuffing on top? Yeah, make a good layer. Um, and it was absolutely delicious. That was really good, I have to say, Matt. I took so the, took... I had found the, you know, the Beyond Meat, they had this Italian sausage product and it didn't have like a casing or anything. It was just the shape of a sausage. So you could just break it up into bits and then fry it. It was so good. And it was good. It was like an Italian sausage. I mean, I didn't meet, I didn't miss the meat at all. Look at this thing. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Just in case people were wondering like, what is she doing? Okay, I think this is enough. What do you think? Looking good. So you're this do is your cheese a layer and panko of layer. stuffing. I didn't use all of it because I think that's just a little bit too much. See, like this, then we need like another army of people to come over. I wish I had somewhere to deliver this to so that someone could eat it. Because I know you guys are going to eat like one bite. And be like, okay, so there we go. And then I'm going to now finally put on top some more cheese. My biggest fan, I have Bear down here. You guys he, can't see him, but he's, he, he's hoping for a dropping. Where is he? He's right below over here on the left. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we added this layer of cheese. And then I have um, some pinko. I have here a little organic panko and I'm just going to layer it on top to give it a little bit of crunch and there we have it. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to make this casserole, put it in the, let it sit for a little sec. Sorry, this is just not really a beautiful, um, this is an INOC R10, it's a Ziploc bag city here. Does it look really kind of gross? Whatever. I just can't do any more dishes. Um, so look how pretty this is. Okay, so let's take a look at it, Matt. What do you think? I think that's gonna cook up yummy. Delicious, right? So I may do a little bit more panko, a little bit more, just to give it that crunchiness. And then basically I asked Maris, I forgot what the temperature to bake it at, 350 for about 30 minutes. It's gonna bubble. It's gonna get that crunchy crunch. And then we're just gonna make a really nice, beautiful salad. And they cut it into it like a, like a casserole. Isn't that cool? So this is your leftover turkey casserole. Um, I would highly suggest giving it a try if you have any leftovers. I think it's kind of cool and kind of fun. A little retro, right? Mm -hmm. 
And I guarantee we, I mean, before I start eating meat, we did it last year and it was so good. So good. And you're right, Matt. I think we could also then take it and put it in between um, bread and have it as a sandwich tomorrow too. So it's almost like a loaf, right? Mm -hmm. So give it a try. DM me and tell me how it is. Marissa's dad, Glenn, thank you for this recipe. It's awesome. And we kind of just made it up our own way, but I think you guys could just use whatever you have left over. Oh, and then for sure, we have all this cranberry sauce left over. Top it off with a cranberry sauce when you serve it, because it's going to be hard, hot idea. and bubbly, and then a little bit of the cold kind of um, tanginess from the cranberry sauce. Guaranteed delicious. Okay, so have a great evening. Give this a try, and DM us and tell us how it is. Okay? Bye, guys.